Hey everybody, how you doing? We're here to introduce the new president of Regis Jesuit, Ms. Sullivan. He's been a great guy to me and everybody else. He really showed me the ropes at Regis. I've known him since before I came into Regis. Uh, he's a great guy and we're here to show you what he's all about and what he's going to do here at Regis. Awesome, so we're just going to ask a few questions. Um, how open are you to student suggestions and what is the best way for students to reach you? I'm very open to student suggestions since it's their school and they're living it. I want to hear about their experience here at Regis. The best way to do it, there's a couple ways. They see me walking in the halls, they could just stop me, say hello, give me some comments and their feedback. My office is in the president's office area in the girls division. They can stop by during an open period or before school or sometime. Or they can even work through their own organizations, whether that's a club, invite me to a club meeting or their student council representatives and bring up topics that they want discussed and the representatives from their club can come see me. So anyway, the door is open. I love talking to students. Awesome. That's great. So Ms. Sullivan, how did you get involved with Regis? How did you start? Well, I've been with Jesuit education in the high school level since 1973. I worked at Creighton Prep in Omaha and then St. John's in Toledo, Ohio. I was the principal at St. John's and always wanted to come to Denver to live because the weather's great and the mountains and the skiing and the people and it's awesome. So they had an opening in 1993. So I applied, was able to get hired, fortunate enough, and moved here. So I've been here as principal and a number of other roles during my time. Great, awesome. Um, what will you focus on most in the upcoming year? I mean, there's a lot to focus on. I think the president's role is to, to work in fundraising and relations with the boards and the exterior community like parents. But I want to be involved in, in the student life, uh, in the hallways or at events. I think the most important thing, I think, is to uh, live the Jesuit message. We need to take care of one another. I'm so proud of the brotherhood and sisterhood that have developed over the years. I want to contribute to that. Uh, keep it going, make it better, and, and so this is just a really strong community. That's my top priority. Great, great, awesome. So how do you feel about you know, taking up this new responsibility of being the president, and specifically how is it different than the, the positions you've had in the past? Well, my m most recent position is vice president of operations, and I oversaw facilities and grounds, campus safety, HR, future planning for the school, uh, those kind of things. So it's much more into the daily operation of the school and how things go. The president's much more a public figure, uh, working with the board, working with the management team, which includes the principals and the CFO and the advancement director. Uh, those types of things. Working with mothers clubs, men's clubs, and, and kind of keeping my finger on the pulse of the school yeah. and taking a look at new initiatives that the principals and the CFO and other people develop and try to contribute to those and find ways to make good things happen. Awesome. Um, how are you planning to incorporate Regis's Catholic identity into everyday life? Well, I think the best way to live your faith is to treat other, each other with respect and dignity. Uh, I think that whole brotherhood, sisterhood, Christian community that we're trying to form, uh, it's one thing to talk it, it's another thing to walk it. And I think how we treat one another, how we look out into the world, how we treat the poor, how we do service projects, how we're empathetic to things like immigration issues, I think we need to, we're here to learn how to be men and women with and for others. And I think that's the best way. But there's also a lot of other ways through our retreats and masses and prayer services and participating in those. It's a great way to develop your spiritual life and have that lead into action. So that's my hope. Uh, during the course of the year. Great. So if you had to choose one moment that you're most proud of at your time here at Regis, what, what, what would you say? I th there are several that I could talk about, but my most, my proudest moment was when we opened up the girls division, when Regis Jesuit High School became the only Jesuit school in the entire world that has both young men and young women on one campus as one school uh, doing the Jesuit thing. I, I just think it's so awesome that we have that kind of foresight and we took the risk to do it. We were able to be, build a brand new school for the boys and renovate the girls school and create an, a really cool community. And when I walk through the buildings now and see 
you know, students in the Steel Center having coffee or food together or student councils for homecoming working together and people interacting in a positive way but preserving the single gender environment in both divisions. To me, that's, it was an honor to be a part of that and it's cool to watch. Definitely. That's awesome. awesome. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Um, thank you so much. It's been great getting to know you and I hope everybody else can um, see what you're going to bring to the school. And, we appreciate your time. No problem. I enjoy working with both of you and getting to know you, and I'm looking forward to walking the halls and getting to know the rest of the community. Awesome. Great.